So you've made it to the final test, the final project, the only test we have that is a project. And you're going to have a bunch of days to do this. It should be very, very good. It is the last big thing you're doing for me. So this is the overview video. The overall goal of this project is for you to pick an environmental science issue and try to make a difference with that issue. You have to educate me about the environmental issue and you have to try to uh, solve it or make it better or reduce the problem, okay? Now, to do that, I have a bunch of different tasks. You're gonna to have to research the topic, make a slogan or a motto, design a logo, create a mission statement, make a PSA, a public service announcement, give me a detailed slideshow, that's the explanation part of this project. You have to make a website and put everything that you do on that website. And you have to take action to address your issue. All of your project, all the pieces have to be on the website, which has to be published and available to me so I can grade it. You will be getting a printout. These are um, in the back of the room. I have them for you. Okay. And pretty much it's the same exact directions that I have on this site. Uh, you know what? No, I have a lot more directions on the paper. Now, very important, uh, it says here, pick your team members. You can have four, you can have up to five. Uh, the more people, the more you can delegate because there's a lot of stuff to do. But also you have to learn how to work as a team, keep each other busy, and make sure that everybody's doing quality work because every single piece of this project has to be very high level. I'm expecting a lot. It's the end of the year. We've been working on environmental science all year. So you can have up to five people. Then you want to pick your topic. And this video is all about understanding the project and picking your topic. So your topic can literally be anything that is an environmental issue. If we look here at the printout, all of these topics are fair game, but it's not limited to this. Don't just pick one of these. Do whatever you like. If you know about something going on in the environment that you really care about, that you really want to stop or reduce or prevent or teach people about, pick that topic. If you have team members who don't want to do your topic and some do, split up. You don't have to have five people, right? You can do something like fixing a local river or a stream, reducing overconsumption, people eating or using too many resources locally like in Delran. Uh, you can help with the plastic pollution in our area, reduce paper usage, make sustainable commuting to schools, uh, talk about the landscaping outside of people's houses and at school native plants. You can try to talk about conserving water, uh, saving the animals, e-waste, all of our computers that we use, all of our chargers and things, reducing indoor air pollution, anything. You can do anything you want. Now, the, the requirements are that it has to address an environmental issue, right? Also, it has to be something that you can actually work on. You can't say that you want to solve uh, hunger in the middle of Africa and you're going to provide food to these kids in these schools. You're not going to do that. That's, I mean, you could do that, but that's a very difficult thing to do and it'd be a very difficult thing to prove to me that you actually did. Okay? So pick something you love, something you care about. All right? So that's how you pick the topic. Now, for the rest of this... I'll tell you more details about this in the other videos below.